up everybody this is marshall zen we're back with episode three boss hogging 101 i'm here with cedric we're at prowess pole fitness right now and he's going to show us how to do some pole dancing So we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration. What you're about to see is going to be an advanced level of pole, not the beginner level at all. However, Marshall Zen's gonna do it today. Duh. <laughs> Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Dripping lights Paint the skies First, let me explain to you what we do in the road trip series is we're trying to hit different places um, that the average person might not really know about. And if they do, if they've heard about it, they ask themselves the question, would I want to do that? If I would do it, how would I get into it? And like, where would it take me, so to speak? So how did you get into pole fitness? Uh, I got into pole fitness right after college. Um, I actually was in track and field in college, and then like after that, right. I had nothing else to do but just to go to the gym and stay fit. That got okay. kind of boring and stale because you can't compete against anybody. Exactly. My friend then told me about prowess, and that's why I found myself here. It was about four and a half years ago. Nice. When I first walked in, um, the first thing obviously I saw was the poles, and I didn't see kind of some of the stuff that was on the wall here until we came back over here, I started looking around, and you guys actually have a fitness team? Yes, we do. We do have a competitive team here at okay. Crossbow Fitness. We go out to competitions, mostly in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and we compete. Um, obviously, we bring home medals. I nice, mean, nice. Our competitive studio here, that's what Prowess Pole Fitness is all about. Awesome. So, they actually have a league for pole fitness. And that's what it's called, pole fitness? It is called pole fitness, yes. Okay. What kind of challenges does the average person come in here and face whenever they are getting on the pole, so to speak, or just learning how to do anything? I would say the most challenging thing about pole dancing is the actual dancing aspect of it. Okay. Um, it's easy for a person to come in here and um, get a trick down and mm -hmm. do that and then work on that and polish it. Right. But finding your flow, like any dance, can be very, right. very Just difficult. putting it all together and everything. Okay. All right. We ready to go through here? Take a tour? Yeah. Okay. So there's different levels to it. There is different levels. Okay, so the first level 
is beginner level, obviously. Very beginner, okay. in that you learn a few basic turns, spins, and how to climb the pole. All right, now, next level. Next level, inverting on the floor. Play like what? Inverting on the floor. I'll, I'll do it. Inversion. I want to say that I could do that in my younger days, but probably not right now. Uh, what's level three? Level three is going to be a little more intermediate to advanced. You're going to do your aerial inverts instead of inverting the floor. Do it from the climb. Oh. And then your tricks start becoming more strengthened and flexible. Okay. Now, level four. Competition level? Level four is, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the competition level. That's just where, like, you're a level four professional. Okay. Sure, yeah. Where people are starting to kind of mostly perform around the valley, if you will. Right. Pretty much, you got to be top of the line to come in, be able to instruct someone, and give someone the, the credentials to move forward. Correct. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of intimidated right now <laughs> at what we're going to do. Um, but I'm really, I'm down for it. How easy is that to get down? I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to see a little ring. See that? All right. I feel like that's my speed right there. Okay. Yeah, you don't get there. Around, around. around. There you go. All right. There you go. Now, how do I get it to spin? <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know this or not, but I brought some of my crew with me back here, and I really like to see. If they could experience some of this ring job right here, cuts off. I think it's important. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and lift into it here. Right? Mm -hmm. Lean out. Take a leg out. Oh, oh that's you. Well, up, pull up, up, pull. Okay. okay. Now, while maintaining that grip, lean the torso back. So, there you go. Yes, keep going. Oh. Keep going, keep this leg straight. Yep, let this leg out. You got it. Let that hand go. This one right here. This hand go. And there you go. <laughs> you go. Lean the torso up, 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 torso up. Like you're flying like a bird. There you go. And look that way. There you go. There you go. Point this leg. Point the toes. There you go. <laughs> This is an apparatus in which you have to condition your skin. You can't condition your skin for something like this at the gym. There, this is a very unique experience. See? Simple. A, neat, a unique sport. Very easy. So, you have to do it to condition for it. <laughs> get, hey, get up there high because we going to be up there. We're going to be all the way up there. Hold it. Now, who up? Now, that. I like to call him the Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. We're gonna turn about face here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna turn about face. Take those four steps again, and here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Back of the hand, front of the pole. Say hello to grandma. Boom, right there. Thread under, rest the back on the pole. 
five, six, seven, eight. Hand, cross, thread. Yes. Hand, cross, thread. Cross, thread. Hand, cross, thread. Hold that, much better. Just like that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just like that, yep, 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 yep. There you go, yeah! Pull 360, ripping the pull with the thighs here. Bottom leg meets top. How many, how many rotations do you take? No scramble eggs. Oh, shit. There you go. There you go. Yeah, whip it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's hard, and it takes a lot of cardio, a lot of like muscular endurance. It just, it's, there's a lot to it. You don't just get up here and swing on a pole. This is not what I do, okay? We can do push-ups all day. We can back and forth, back and forth. This right here, I'm done. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to get some drink. I'm ready to go night-night. Other arm reaches up, other leg wraps. One is here, the other is here. Okay? Ooh, I can't even get my elbow straight, man. Like seriously, I can deal with all the credit in the world because, uh, yeah. I can try to muscle through that, but I can't get up that pole as fast as you can. All right, so I go here and then one right here. Oh! Oh! Something very simple for us. Yeah, very just, uh, easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna demo what we're gonna do. Melt down to the floor. Sweep back. Straddle close. Take it up. Move to here. Get enough. Okay, that's not a lot of pull. I can do that. <laughs> Lift that leg up. Strap. Rust the hips up. Wow. <gasps> as high as you can. Boom. So here. Okay. Yep, on the <laughs> leg goes around. Drop on that knee. A lot of strength that you don't expect to have. Um, I am not good at spinning and I don't have thigh strength. I thought I was strong in my thighs, but not for this. So I would like to take a class and actually learn how to do it. I think that'd be good. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I've never done anything like this before and I would like to definitely try more of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's pretty fun. Just stop living a lie. It's time to come on back home. Number one, it's fun. Number two, um, it's entertaining, which is definitely different than fun because fun um, allows you to kind of be creative and entertaining allows you to let go while you're being creative at the same time. So what up guys, so the class was amazing. Um, it actually put a focus on technique more so than muscle. But this right here kind of embodies the, 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 um, 
the pure athlete. You need technique, you need strength, you need cardio, you need to be stretched out, and you need patience. So I love it. I appreciate the opportunity. If my wife comes back, if my other ladies come back, I might jump in with them. But God, I'm not going to see doing this on my own without y'all feeling me this time. <laughs> like, I, I think it's 90% technique and 10% strength. So really, anybody can do it. If you really want to come to get a workout, I mean, it's, it's pretty tough. It's a lot harder than you think it is. Um, I thought it was awesome. I've never done anything like this, so it was a little bit scary. But it was hard, um, but really fun. I liked it. I think I would do this again, for sure. I actually thought, you know, oh, it's not a big deal jumping on the pole. It, it, it can't be that hard. Uh, it really is. You gotta have technique, you gotta have uh, strength, stamina, and flexibility, which I have no flexibility. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be able to do what Cedric does. It would take a lot of time for me because I'm not that flexible, but it is definitely a lot of fun. Um, I would love to take another class and actually be able to get down the moves and feel more confident doing it. It's a great workout. Um, it's it's tough. I mean, it's real tough, but it's it's worth it and it's a lot a lot of fun. Final thought on Prowl's Pole Fitness. Lindsay, Cedric, they let us come down here and have a great time. We really appreciate what they let us do. If you want to try something new, if you are looking for a new adventure in fitness, this is the spot. Come down here, make sure you hit them up. Make sure you hit us up on our channel, Boss Hogan 101. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the link below.